Good morning, Wall Street. A few videos ago, we took a look at what it meant to be oversold. One of the things that we pointed out in that video was that being technically overbought or oversold was no guarantee that the market was going to turn around and change its direction. Now, in this video, we're looking at one of our newer indicators that we've developed, the ENS overbought and oversold indicator. Those times when we have overbought, which is above the 50 level here, uh, where we see a little coloring in green, that tends to be a point at where the market takes a, a, a rest. And sometimes in a weaker market, it tends to end the move to the upside here, as we can see. In a down market, points of oversold, see we had one right here. In fact, it couldn't get above its DMA channel here. As it progressed further, uh, we had a, a deeper level of oversold. That caused a little bit of work on the DMA channel, but that also failed. We have a, another oversold point here where you did get a little bit of a better bounce, but uh, in the long scheme of things, it wasn't much. A great start off, but then it kind of fizzled. And we got to a point of overbought without much in the way of a significant gain. Then we have a deeper oversold level here that precipitated some sideways action, but uh, further weakness into more oversold territory. And you, as you can see, the, these oversold territories didn't stem the tide of weakness here. Um, this last oversold point, however, in March, did coincide with the, the recent low in the market. And the price action was able to carve clearly above the DMA channel. But we've quickly gotten to a, an overbought level. So the question now becomes, are we going to have a market reaction similar to what we saw back in early November of 2008. In other words, is this all the market has to the upside for this cycle? Uh, a case could be made for that. You have clear level here at 800 that we broke in February. And now you could say that, well, we've come back to test that as resistance. The thing that I want to look for here, and the thing that I think that you all should look look for, the key is how the market responds to this extreme level of overbought territory. In the past, when we've had overbought measures, the first sign of weakness following overbought territory was a move back below the DMA channel. So it becomes a critical point that the market is able to hold its DMA channel and move higher. That kind of price action is going to tell us that this level of overbought wasn't enough to turn the market back to the downside. And that is a sign of strength that we haven't seen in an awful long period of time. And that would be our first clue that, yes, indeed, the market is ready to do something more than just have a bear market rally. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll see if that can happen. Hope that helps. See you next time.